Welcome back, everybody, to Pro Scrims. Golden Boy here alongside Mr. X, bringing you complexity versus justice. And it is going to be search and destroy, of course. And, you know, uh, broadcaster mode seems to, you know, still not be working, but we're going to get there eventually. We'll, we'll, we'll be there. We're going to figure it out, guys. Don't worry. Me and Golden Boy. We're on the case. We're trained people. Well, we're, we're not trained. We're not we, trained. Can't, we can't figure it out. Not by any. But, you know, that was a pretty quick first round. Just us <laughs> showing yeah. us that they're extremely good on search and destroy. Like we talked about, they picked up study to get even better at search and destroy. And, I mean, they're just showing it right now. Yep, that's right. And Tipsy there with the final kill cam. He is not amused. No. Nope. He is a monkey at the top. That's a cute that's little monkey. It's adorable, honestly. Yeah. It is, it is beautiful. You know, the way the map's built right here is you can't... I mean, you can go to B, but it's extremely difficult. There's almost no... Destroy the objective. There's oh. no incentive to go to B. You can get to A pretty easily. I seem to have, uh, I seem to have killed myself. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Little boy. For some odd reason. That's never a good thing. For some reason, I spawned into the game. Yeah, it no seems sense. like you spawned into the game as well. So something that happened. Would make no sense, Goldwood. Uh, but you know what? We're good now. We're good now. All right. So we have uh, Gucci here on your screen. I, I, you know, of course, guys, we're kind of, kind of a little handicapped here. But uh, we are. You know, we'll 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 figure it out eventually. So let us see what Gucci is going to be bringing to the table here by the mid train track. So it's down to smoke right by mid. Shots fired over by the three story. Gucci's going to challenge that with an MTAR. That's no crazy hit markers. Bike challenge right there, Gold Boy. On the top of the train to Ooh. the top three story, it's pretty difficult. And I like the original strategy from Justice. They were going to smoke A and try and get a quick bomb plant down. I believe it was uh, Gucci Rogan and Cog, so it'd be immune to the thermals this. of complexity. But it's a little a little shaky on the execution, which you can blame on having a fill-in, you know? Yeah, that's right. Now, how's, how's defense usually? I mean, because it seems like, you know, obviously you can play pretty far back on switching sides. This, yeah. this map is pretty set up for defense to be like the best thing ever. Search and destroy. But, you know. All right. Yeah, well, I think we'll stick with defense on this do. side. Let's see. Oh, and I spawned in for some reason. Yeah. What do you think they would think if I spawned in and just ran around? I mean, you would you would just you would just tear face, bro. And it'd be it'd be glorious. And now my body's just laying here full time. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go spectator and then come back. This is hilarious. I'm He's just looking at here. a dead body on the screen, and then you gotta go spectator. I like and you gotta the jump spectator back in. free cam. I'm just gonna stick with this. The one angle that you have to like yeah, watch the mid-track. Yeah, but you can see most of what you would want to see, though. Like, <laughs> what I can does that see, even mean? I can see if anybody's coming. Green I alley over most here. Of what I, I can see, see full mid-train. I can see top white right here. I can see a good amount. But you know, study with this thermal sniper. Snipers are so important on search and destroy in this game, especially this USR. I saw a lot of people using the L112 yeah. at Columbus, but this the USR is so much more consistent. It, with the chrome barrel lining, it always gets a one shot. Really? Yes. Well, now I, I know. don't know why I told everybody that. Now yeah. they're going to know. Yeah, now I I'm know. I'm going to tell you another thing that I don't think anybody knows. What's that? Do you know incognito, it eliminates your character from calling out? Oh, really? So because I know that when they call out, you can actually hear them. You can hear them pretty from good from where they are. Team, get ready for wow. the next round. No, I don't I didn't know that either. Mr. X, you're just dropping knowledge. I'm just dropping bombs. I'm scared. I'm, 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 I'm legitimately I'm afraid. Bombs. Legitimately I mean, afraid. I may just start throwing out secrets that nobody knows. So for some reason, I just Destroy keep seem to be objective. spawning despite the fact that I'm not. You want to play really bad. You, I, don't you know what, man? I've play. been, I have been, uh, you know, I have been wanting. Uh, to play for quite some time now. Yeah. And, uh, and this you know. is a great spot from Gucci. Yeah. I see tons of players sit here to try and pick somebody off in this t that top green building. And y you're almost unseeable from there. It's a really nice spot. Yeah, well, let's see what Gucci is going to... Well, he's not going to find anything there. Jumping over to Tipsy. He is going to find one player top of the third story. That's not going to connect with anyone. But he is... Ooh, ooh. He misses that shot. I don't even know how. Oh. And he can't seem to connect with it. 0 for 3. He's going for 0 for 4. Hold on. He misses again. Oh, Tipsy, man. man. Just, it's just not working That's out for you, buddy. One. Yeah, you may have to put that thing down. Maybe Gotta time to hang it, it out with the sniper rifle. Now, so here's the crazy part, right? Yeah. So example is using uh, this this particular attachment yes, here. Yes, I see uh, a lot of players Forget using the name now. of it. I apologize. I don't use it all that much. But I was watching Sharp's video today on the yeah. Team Caliber channel, and he actually, when you bring down the, uh, the scope yeah. there, it it's, has it's, a new iron sight. It's yeah, it's iron sight. Iron sight it's much better than the MTAR we iron sight. Round, but we can still win this. So, seems like who disabled it? Okay, 
So uh, we do not have the use of the spectator, and that seems like it will uh, not be the case. Switching sides. Uh, moving forward for the rest of this pro scrim. Um, we apologize about that one, guys. Not much we can do on our end here, but uh, let us just get back to the action. I apparently spawned back into the game. You Lord love knows. that SC2010, and I'm going to talk about it right now. Go ahead and talk about it, brother. It. I love that gun, but I don't think it's very effective at long range. On a map like this, I'd much rather have the Remington. Remington with I think the, the Remington is probably one of the most versatile Remington in with, this game. Remington with grip is unreal. Yeah. The gun doesn't move up. It's disgusting. It, it, I mean, you can literally just hold your trigger down. If you can't shoot well at home and you want to look like you're the best player ever, trying to impress some girls or whatever in your lobby, <laughs> just grab a Remington, <laughs> throw a red dot sight on, grab hey, a baby, grip. Let me just show you my throw Remington. Some, yeah, throw hard line on, start calling in Riley the dog, some some juggernaut, whatever. The juggernaut dog? The juggy the dog? Because that's what I call him. Yeah. He's a beast. The Juggernaut Mania. Did you see my video on YouTube where I got killed by a dog halfway across the map? Yeah, I mean, it happens it, all the time. It was, uh, it was a glorious experience. You know, you're seeing a, a good push from Complexity over... I mean, you can't see it right now, but... Well, let's actually hop yeah. on board with Complexity. Yeah, you can see it that they're pushing towards this A-bomb. They're going to try and get somebody into three-story, which I believe that person was taken out. Yeah, he was taken out in three-story. So right now, it's just going to be Teep and Krim, and Krim is going to try and watch his top red and make sure that he can't get shot from above. Because usually that's the first spot somebody will go. They'll go to that little roof, and they'll just look over. And Krim is going to watch that from green, and he's taken out. So now it's going to be Teep all alone in a two-on-one. He's just going to sound... I'm just going to tell you right now, TP here. alive, guaranteed they can get this win. If he continues, if he plays smart like this, finding a player in front of him, able to take him out, looking immediately behind him. No player is going to creep up just yet. He is going to reload. That is going to make some noise. 15 seconds left on the clock. He's going to go back and check the bomb now. It's about every couple seconds you want to check. He's got to find him in front of him. Oh, and he won't be able to do it. That is going to... have enough time? Oh, though? man. I, he does have enough time. He, he definitely will. It takes will. one second to pick the bomb he up. He picked now, it up at nine-something. The there you yeah, go. Yeah, he got it with, like, a second left. I, I said, like, you know, TP, when he's alive, usually yeah. you're just going to get that W there. I mean, he just knows how to bait people on S&D. Oh, absolutely. Probably should have waited yeah. about maybe a second Another more. second or two. Yeah. Another second or two. He would have had enough time. The need to rule of thumb is, like, every, like, what, five, five, no, like, every ten seconds or I every probably, five seconds you go and check uh, He went like back that. and checked it with about 15 seconds left. I probably, I probably would have said wait till about 12 seconds to check that bomb. Okay, so because because you figure after Tipsy got taken out, his teammate wouldn't. If his teammate was directly behind him, he would have killed T. Yeah. So you figure he wasn't really close to the bomb. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense here. So Gucci now is going to be in the mid with bomb in hand, trying to push his way forward toward A, putting down some shots. So Extremely they know he's pushing on A and just right there. Yeah. The next round. Yeah, they that that's one thing that you can. If the defensive team tries to get a little more aggressive on yeah. this map, the offensive team has a huge advantage. That's why you see tons of teams just play way far back by their fences, almost in their spawn on defense. Okay, okay. And they usually try and send a guy into that three-story to control that left alley kind of by lumber. And then you'll see a team, uh, guys go up we into green, the and then you'll see a guy sit all the way back in their spawn. But, I mean, Ipsy is just shredding right now. 12 and 2? Yeah. What? Yeah, when you see someone what? dropping, you know, those kinds numbers of numbers like and that. search and destroy, you, you take note. You take note for sure, especially on pro scrims. So let's see what, and, and against also the Columbus champions, too. That's another thing you have to consider. Right. So TP, he's going to, he's actually going to push up there. Krim is getting aggressive on the left side. Might try and see if he can find someone. Looking around the corner. This yeah, is there is going to be a sniper this there. It's a very difficult side to push because there's really that only one little oh. hallway. Ooh, and big win. Yeah, that's a big win right there. I believe it was traded, though. But, I mean, that's an extremely difficult hallway to push. And just example coming up with a huge kill right there on TP with a ridiculous shot, and it's all left up to Aches right now. All right, well, let's see here. He's going to be dealing with a 1v3. Gucci is going to be taken out. If he takes out Tipsy, that's going to be huge sling power that Complexity have managed to, to eliminate here. But they are going to be living in the back of the base. They're not They're not going to be going anywhere. They're not going to be pushing up. Yeah, they have to know that bomb is down, so they're probably just waiting it out. They know pretty much the only option that Aix has to bring it to go. A, and just smart plays right there at the Just Us team. They're one round away from pretty much dominating the second map, Golden Boy. Yeah, look at Study here. That was a great position. I mean, they had to make the, the, the uh, you know, I guess a, a pin, the assumption, that's what I meant to yeah. say, Switching that he was going to be over by red. I mean, they had they had to make that assumption. Yeah, they, they he, knew they knew his only option was to really plant that A. Destroyed. So they yeah pretty much just posted up mid map. Probably had a guy back on their fences or their wood, and just waited it out. All right, well let's see if Justice is going to be able to close this one out, making it five to 
two or six to two here, and uh, bomb is going to be in the hands of Gucci. As you can see, the top left of your screenshots going to be exchanged. Gucci is going to get wall banged. That's going to be two down there. Study left alive, working with example, and my goodness, just getting stopped right away. Example, trying to see if he could find just like that little orange hue with that scope there, but he's not finding study anything just yet. And I really don't like that Oop. call out of Just Us right there. When, when you have that round point, and I mean, you have, you have rounds to burn, don't get me wrong. But you could have played for picks right now. You probably know complaints. You're probably arguing a little bit. They're probably getting a little too over aggressive. Somebody's just trying to make a play. And you could have used that to your advantage right there. I probably That's would have true. said, let's play a little slower. Let's play for picks. And you probably would have gotten somebody rushing out trying to make destroy. a play. Yeah, that's right. I, I do agree with you on that one. All right, well, let's uh, go back over to Justice here on defense and see if they can close it out. Taking a look now, uh, Tipsy, who has been the star player here. Let's see how he's been racking up these kills, pushing out aggressive on the left side, finding one player, going for the drop shot. That's not going to happen. Study now on your screen, going for the challenge around the corner. That's going to be a win for him as uh, there will be two players left alive for complexity, two for Justice. Gucci and Study are going to be the ones trying to win this battle here. What's Study. he looking at? I wonder what he's looking at. He must know something we don't know. Yeah, he must, he must have some weird ideas that we I don't know. I know something you don't know. Yeah, he definitely I does, because I, I don't think anybody was coming that way, Golden Boy. No, not at all. Not oh, at he's going to throw. Ooh, look at that ooh, nade. Look at that. Crispy nade. Oh. He learned something new every day. If he would have been able to nail that see. nade, that would have been just dirty. But, oh, going for oh. the shots again. Could we see a repeat of what happened earlier where I think that was uh, I think Gucci. It was it was Gucci or Tipsy, one of them was just whiffing like a he, champion. He was over for 4. You were whiffing like wiffle he was ball. Over four. It was dirty. And I mean, right now you see a guy from Justice. Looks like he's on the bomb, so nobody comes out and challenged from Complexity Ooh. and, you know, taken out right there. That was an unfortunate situation. Complexities you know, are the kings of the comeback. Yeah, and those two on two Call situations, it's, <laughs> it's extremely difficult, especially for. I, I, I mean, Justice has lots of experience, but. Yeah. To close out games is extremely difficult. When you're in those two-on-two -two situations, you have to uh, just Search take your destroy. time. A lot of times, I mean, right there, you really didn't see much teamwork. You saw one guy on the bomb and one guy pushing all the way far right. If they were going to have a guy sit on bomb, you would have liked to at least trade that death. So you would have had somebody look over him. Yeah, that's true. That's true there. I said Colback, by the way. I thought it was a funny joke. No, I, I thought it was funny. Oh, well, thank you, man. I just didn't have time to laugh. Next time, I was, laugh. I was breaking it down. Next time, laugh. I was breaking I'll, it down. It's depressing. All right, Sorry. well, TP, by the way, looking uh, like right by that mid there, using the track, seeing if he can find any footsteps. But Ake's going to be pushing up. He's going to be the point man here. Clay's actually going to be using the tracks as well to see if anyone's going to be pushing up. And it seems like they pretty much just won this. I mean, they, they won position as yeah. uh, Study is going to get taken out as well as Tipsy. I don't think I don't think Justice was ready for that much of an aggressive push right there. And, you know, they just kind of got locked in their base. And, you know, five, right five. now, tying it up. I believe the score was 5-2 to two at one point. My goodness. And, you know, we're just seeing a, a crazy comeback right now. And like I was saying, it's extremely hard to put teams away. Like championship teams, it's extremely hard to put them away. You, you have to play extremely Overtime. smart. And it all comes back to that one round, Golden Boy. They tried to rush. They tried. They thought they had them on the ropes. And, and their rush ended up just kind of blowing up in their face. And they really haven't gained control since then. You know, it, it is crazy to know, too, the way that Complexity played that one on defense. I mean, they just swarmed that right side with Ake. So they pretty much won that area. No one was pushing out. They had eyes everywhere. But now we're starting to see an aggressive push here out of Justice as TP's going to have to hold back. Finding a player in front of him, able to win the it's gun battle. Tipsy's right going to draw first blood. There's going to be another player around the left side there. And it seems like Crim6 is going to be putting down some shots over by the left track not connected with anything there is going to be a player on the opposite side taking a look at clay or at aches excuse me he's going to be uh lingering in the backfield here and playing that position clayster is going to be the one pushed up he's going to be taking some shots as he has been identified hoping to see if crim six or aches are going to push in any second now as clay is going to get taken out now that is going to make it into a 3v2 with defense of course for complexity, how do you think that they're going to fare here, knowing that they are going to push for that A-bomb site? You know, right now, they're really just going to sit both guys on A. They're going to dare them to kind of go around and plant that B. And I think you're going to see them try and just place oh! the work for a pick. And, I mean, somebody doesn't have their glasses on because he just walked right by them. And that would have been a big kill right there. And now you just have Crim6 in a two-on-one. And now it's a one -on -one. gets caught sleeping. And this would be... This is a huge play right here. I mean, All right. This is where you win championships. Well, let's see what uh, is going on with Study. He's going to be by himself going up against Krim. They made the call that he was by red. He's making the assumption, and he gets it. Huge kill And right that there. was going to do it there. Justice able to tie this one up despite Complexity's amazing comeback. Just 
Study going huge with that last kill, ending this game eight and eight. What a performance out of him. Yeah, you know, this is a very smart play. He kind of went to go plant the bomb because nice he knew pretty much Krim well was just going to sound check A. Yeah. And he caught him off guard. I don't think he really expected him to look straight up through three story and shoot him underneath. And just a really smart play by Study right there. Yeah, it was a great read by him without a doubt there. And of course, guys, get vocal. Let us know who you think is going to take it. Instructions are down there. Tweet your predictions. The MLG is right here. They're down there. It's right here. It's I right point there. that way. But you point. It's okay. It's okay. that way on my. Th there. <laughs> it's over there. It's over there. Here. Anyway, guys, so we're going to go to a quick commercial break. When we come back, Blitz is going to be the next game type that we're going to be checking out. Let us know again who do you think is going to take it? Complexity or Justice Series going to be tied at 1 1. With that said, it is Pearl Scrims. I'm Golden Boy. This is Mr. X. We'll be right back.